I'm Tammy Utley and today we're going to be doing some royal icing flowers and some crimping on a Mother's Day cake. What things we're going to need are is some wax paper, I've got some cut up into squares, some parchment bags, we're going to need some straws. What I have here is a crimper because we're going to do crimping today. This is a scallop. We are going to need some nails. This is a number 14 and this is a number 7. We need some colors. I'm going to use um, this is super red and I have leaf green and I have a yellow, a nice bright yellow. Uh, we can use uh, food color markers or we can use um, our uh, gel colors that we already have. Uh, either one will work for coloring. We need some tree formers and we need some flower formers, the medium and the large. And some non -perials. These are just some white non -perials. Have a little bit of chocolate in them. We will need some scissors, some cornstarch, and a couple spatulas. This is 22 gauge wire. This is not paper wire, it's uh, cloth wrapped wire. Um, that's just fine because these are royal icing flowers. And we will need some royal icing. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to make today are royal icing orchids. Now these uh, flowers are done on wires. Again, this is a 22 gauge cloth covered wire. And what I'm going to do is cut a couple lengths of wire off. We are going to need one for the column and then one for each of the petals and sepals. Which means we'll need four of those, five of those. Okay. So you need a total of six. Okay, starting with a number, I think, believe this is a number nine, two, but you can use a, you can use a number seven, small as a number seven. Depends on the size of your orchid, you can vary that. This is number nine with some royal icing. All I'm gonna do is place this wire inside the tip and start piping, and then kind of let it build a little bit as it comes off. And then I'm going to use some cornstarch. Dip my finger in cornstarch and I'm going to use that to help mold that little flat right there like a col column is of an orchid. And then I'm going to use a paintbrush, dip it in water, and just brush it down to taper it a little bit. Okay. So there you have the column. We need to set that aside and let that dry. 